Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for joining me for this video. My name's Leanne, and welcome to my channel in the garden again. Still in my pajamas, was not intending to record uh, walking out in the garden, but I saw something cool, and I thought maybe you guys would be interested in seeing this. So, a little backstory first. I sowed some cucumber seeds in the raised beds, and I sowed some amongst my onions, just to see what would happen. Not sure, and you know, the raised bed ones, they're growing amongst lettuces and then the, they were growing some around some bok choy, but we ended up giving the chickens a bok choy because they went to bolt a lot faster than I was ready for and I didn't use them up. So they'd be bitter at this point. Anyway, and I noticed the, bok, or the cucumbers that were planted around the bok choy and the lettuces aren't doing as well as the ones on the onions. I'm going to give you a look here in a second, but I am curious if onions are a potential companion for cucumbers for me now. Okay, let me show you. Got a bunch of babies in the garden right now. Picked my first handful of snow peas. Okay, check this out. So... I have a cucumber here. Pretty sure that's a cucumber. That could be a zinnia, actually, because I did have zinnias growing here last year. This is definitely a cucumber. Okay. And this was... Sorry, bad camera handling because it on my tripod. This, this is a cucumber, but it's been munched on by, I suspect, slugs. So... Those look... I mean, the one looks okay. Over here, I think I have one growing that looks okay. Mind you, I sowed multiple seeds per mound because they were old seeds. I wasn't sure. I almost always give every spot that I plant seeds to. This time, I kind of just threw like three or four in each one because I wasn't sure the seeds are old and blah, blah, blah. But check this out. I did the same thing over here with the onions. And they all sprouted. And this could very well have to do with the variety. And I'll have to look back at my seeds to see which variety is over here. Let me see. Okay, there's another one. I didn't see that guy before. And then over here. They all sprouted. <gasps> OMG! My crabapple tree's got leaves on it. I don't know if I've mentioned to you guys before, but I took a survey with the Arbor Day Association and uh, donated a little, and they gave me... It was only $10. They sent me 10 free flowering trees and two crepe myrtles, which are beautiful flowering shrub tree things. Another cucumber. See, these ones look so healthy. They're not munched on at all. So I'm curious, maybe this is how I'm going to grow my cucumbers from now on. I shall keep you guys updated. My poor greenhouse got tossed around in the wind really bad the other night. It's like a solid day of wind. So I have this greenhouse and I did intend to make a video of like how we actually built it step by step. But I never got around to it and I'm kind of glad because I don't recommend doing it the way we did. We have been struggling with this greenhouse kind of a lot. Try to get in here whilst holding my phone. So, okay, let me sit. It's working and that's what I need. I, I wanted a place to be able to bring my plants out from under the grow lights so that I can continually start things under the grow lights. And this is doing that just fine, but it's just not sturdy. Um, and it's kind of our own fault for not looking for advice before we jumped in, but 
we're coming up to the time where we're not really going to even need the plastic on it anymore. So we may just ditch the plastic and start over next year. Um, so my husband's in the military. He's up for re-enlistment in a, a couple years. So we're going to decide if we're going to stay or go. And that's kind of the whole like reason why we didn't want to go with the super permanent structure for the greenhouse. But it may not even be worth it to do this. So my original reason for the greenhouse was to get a head start on the squash plants so that I could get them going before the vine borer bug starts to lay its eggs and maybe get some squashes here. But I'm realizing I could accomplish the same thing if I made like little individual tents out of this plastic. So I think that's what we're gonna do for next year. We're gonna take this thing down and scale it down a bit to be just for bringing started plants into. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. Also, I potentially have another grow light company having me do a review. So stay tuned for that. It's a different style of grow light from what I'm used to. Pretty sure it's still an LED, but I'm gonna be testing it out by starting herb plants with it. So if you guys are interested, then stay tuned. And if you need a friend to learn how to garden with, I'm your girl, happy gardening.